Why, hello there, internet. Today we're shooting some toys because the Mandalorian season finale just aired and uh, I cried a lot. So I was inspired, so we made this. Okay, so the way we shot this was pretty simple. We brought the Unreal Engine in here and got some 3D assets, okay. There was a lot of steps. This took about three hours to do, but it was all worth it. Here's why. The Mandalorian was shot using the Unreal Engine, so they use virtual production. They project the video game engine onto the big TV screen that they have on their soundstage. We don't have any of that except for the Unreal Engine. So we use the TV I have in my living room. And what we did is we found some models online. Thank you very much Video Copilot for creating these Star Wars models, this corridor scene years ago. I think it was for The Force Awakens and uh, now it's 2020. We are using this for The Mandalorian. So we took those models, they were originally built for Element 3D and After Effects, brought them into Unreal. Fortunately, there were textures in JPEG format, so it was pretty easy to just move all those textures around and make sure that everything fit. Then we just built the scene. Building the scene, it was just a corridor, so a long sort of tunnel. And then we went through numerous shots, just trying to get the right scene in the background to match with what I have in camera. Now, what did we shoot with? We are shooting on the Sony A9 with a 90 millimeter macro lens. I love the compression that you get with a 90 millimeter macro. It just gives you this very intense compression and very awesome looking depth of field. Gear on top of that included the Falcon Eyes light, which I'm using to light this right now. It's my smaller light. I could have used a bigger light like an Aperture 120D, but that's a little overkill for a toy of this size. On top of that, we used two Aperture MC lights, which are these guys right here. And then we just use that to get some extra fill in on the side. And then we use the Loom Cube with the barn doors. That would be this guy right here. And the fortunate part about the barn doors is we we're able to get this little highlight on the jetpack. And then as we kept adding more lights to the scene, we just started playing with some extra elements to try and bring some extra life to this. So what else did we add to this? Well, uh, I found this in my kitchen. And this is what I use to hold all of my spatulas and whatnot. But uh, I had this metal scene aesthetic from the Star Wars asset. So I was like, you know what? Let's add a foreground element. I have another other little light that I will link in the description that I just put on the front of this and it adds a little bit of extra sort of shading of light and it is kind of blue uh, into the scene. On top of that, or the figures rather, they live on top of I have two sheets of metal that I got from Home Depot. They're about a hundred bucks and um, it was a hundred bucks total for like the entire set that I got. I have like a copper one and then this diamond metal one. Now you'll see with the copper one, it kind of didn't really match the scene and I could have at, tried to change the elements inside Unreal, but I chose, hey, let's, let me see if I have something a little bit more neutral. So I had a diamond board, which uh, allowed me to get some texture on the bottom and that really helped with blending the Unreal into the uh, the TV between the real life shot and uh, yeah. So the texture really helped there. And then I'm filming this on a little TV dinner stand with uh, an Apple box on top of that so I can get it a little bit higher to the TV. The figures I used are the Mandalorian in Beskar armor and this little guy, Grogu from uh, The Mandalorian, obviously. And uh, I'm really stoked about these shots. I'm really stoked about these figures. And uh, if you haven't seen The Mandalorian, go watch it. I cried in that last episode like this. Well, technically I screamed, but uh, you get the point. It was, it was very exciting. So I hope this was not spoilery. I hope 
instead that this little BTS breakdown of my sort of toy photography was helpful and useful to you. If it was, let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, that's it. I will leave you with this. Eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Hey. Goodbye, my friends. Oh, Put the face up. Bye. Put my face up.